like terms in math. This video tutorial um, can be found at mathwarehouse.com slash like terms where you'll find other goodies including extra practice problems and a free worksheet with an answer key. Alright, so the goal of this tutorial is to understand what are like terms. If you have an expression like x plus 3 plus 2x plus 5, by the end of this tutorial you should be able to identify which terms are, are, are like terms in this expression. So hopefully at this point in time you know that 3 plus 2 or any two numbers are like terms. In other words, we can combine and join 3 and 2 because they're like terms. What about something like this? x plus x. Is this a pair of like terms? Many students have a few different answers to that question. Some of them want to write x squared. Is that right? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Um, others want to write 2x. Others want to write 2. And let's find out which of these are correct. And there's an easy way to know whether x plus x equals any of these three options. We know that if x plus x equals x squared, if they are one and the same, that any value of x that we choose, like like if we say x is 3, we should get we should have the same thing on both sides of the equation. After all, an equation um, on, in an equation, both sides must be the same, must evaluate to the same number. So if we choose x is 3, we should be able to put a 3 in for x and get the same number on both sides. Let's see, 3 plus 3 is 6 on the left, 3 squared is 9. So we only had to try one number to see that x plus x does not equal x squared. Well, now the next thing to try is 2x. x plus x is 3 plus 3, and 2 times 3, if we put, a, if we put an x of 3 in for this, is going to be 6. So it turns out x plus x is 2x, and this would work for any number you choose. I mean, if you said x is 4, you would say x plus x, which is 4 plus 4, you could test it out against this, is 2 times 4, and it works, right? 8 equals 8. It turns out x plus x is 2x for any x you choose. And it obviously does not equal the number 2. Okay, so well, let's look at that. x plus x, we had the variable x raised to the power 1, and we ended up with 2x to the first, right? What this, now let's think about x. We had a coefficient of 1 and a coefficient of 1 before both of them. You don't really write that 1, it's just assumed. So what we did was we added these two coefficients and we kept the exact same exponent. Let's see if that's true for other examples. Let's try y plus 2y. Does that equal 3y. Now where did I get this 3y? I just did what, what we saw up here. This y really has a hidden 1 coefficient. And there's a 2 coefficient here, so we added the coefficients 1 plus 2 to get 3, and I kept a power uh, kept it as y to the first. Let's test, test a value of y to see if it seems to work. If you say like y equals 5, for instance, you will get 5 plus 2 times 5, and on the right you get 3 times 5. Turns out 5 plus 10 or 15 does indeed equal 15. All right, so that's, this seems to be the rule here, and in, indeed it is a rule. If you have any exponent, sorry, if you have any variable, whether it's t or k, and it's to the same power, all you do is add the coefficients, 3 plus 4 or 7, and keep the exponent. Right? It doesn't matter what it is. 3t to the second plus 4t to the second equals 7t to the second. And, you know, one final example is, let's say, 17x cubed plus 4x cubed is going to equal, add the coefficients, 17 plus 4, 21x cubed. So, what about 
something like this, 3 plus x. Are these like terms? Well, notice it's, this, is, this is different from um, what we've seen in the past that were like terms. We know that x plus x is like terms, or y to the second and 3y to the second are like terms because what we were really interested in was the variable and its power variable and its exponent. Here we have x to the first and we don't have an x there. Uh, what do students like to do? A lot of students here like to say 3 plus x equals 3x. Is that correct? Well, you know how we can test this out. Just make up some value for x. Let's just say x is 1. Does 3 plus 1 equal 3 times 1? And the answer is no. Alright, so to be like terms, you need to have your variable raised to the same exponent. Coefficients don't matter. When we actually join them, we add the coefficients, so you get 4y squared. But you do need to have the variable raised to the same power. So then, one last example, one last type here. What about xy plus x? Are these like terms? Well, let's choose a value, let's see, what do students like to do here? They like to say something like this. I've seen this a lot. Is that correct? You know how we can find out. We can just put in some values for x and y and see if the left and the right sides become the same number. And let's say x is 1 and y is 3. All right, so you get 1 times 3 plus 1, or 4. Does that equal 2 times 1 times 3, which is 6? And the answer is no. So x, y plus x is not, are not like terms. They cannot be combined. So what you need for like terms are, again, a variable, whatever it is, x and x, and it has to be raised to the same power. This is, this is a pair of like terms. So x, y plus x not like terms, well, what about xy plus xy? Can we join them? I've seen a lot of different solutions here, and it turns out you can. You can combine this to be 2xy. And if you want to convince yourself of y, again, just use this strategy of choosing um, some numbers there. Let's make x1 and y3 again. So you've got 1 times 3 plus 1 times 3 which is 6, and that will equal 2 times 1 times 3, or 6. So, what you need for like terms, well, before we say what you need, let's compare a pair of like terms. What do you think about this? xy squared plus xy squared versus xy plus xy squared. Like terms? On the left or the right? This is a pair of like terms. We can join them to be 2xy squared. Over here, you can't do anything. These are not like terms. So what, in the end, qualifies something to be like terms is that you can have, you can multiply variables, right? In other words, if you have two expressions that are variables being multiplied, like x times y, x times y, the only requirement is that they are the same variables raised to the same power. In other words, if you have 3zt and another term that's 3z squared t and another term that's 5zt, here are the like terms z and t are both raised to the first power each, so you can combine them, and in this case you get 8zt. So when you're trying to identify like terms, what you're looking for, like all you're interested in, are the variables and their exponents. Let's do one last example. Let's say we've got 5r squared t, 5rt, 5rt squared, 5r squared t squared. 
which if any of these terms are like terms? It turns out none are, right? Because we, ha we have an r squared t here, but nowhere else do we have r raised to the second power and t raised to the first. And the same goes for each of these. rt here, again, there's, there's no set of variables that are being multiplied whose exponents are the same. That's it for identifying like terms. Uh, see part two of the video tutorial for uh, understanding how you actually combine them. And if you'd like more practice on this, um, again, visit our website, mathwarehouse.com slash like terms, where you can get a 25-question worksheet and answer key, plus some other goodies.